so much more in sonship to our role in bringing creation into freedom of bringing creation in freedom from its corruption into the freedom of the glory of the children of God. If we do not know the fullness of our glory, our true identity, then we'll only be limited to what we can do on earth or what we can do in heaven. But we're called to be multidimensional beings, immortal in both quantity and quality. So my heart filled with joy when I experienced this. I sank deeper and blissfully into rest. But at the same time, I was so excited by this revelation that I could hardly contain myself. I mean, can you imagine in a moment, God showing you all that I've just described? It was mind expanding in that I was able to contain and believe what he was revealing from that is the reality that I am, of who I really am. And the father said, son, see how easy it is to just be. <laughs> There's a statement. And it was like, wow, when when this happened to me, it didn't feel easy. It it was just like, whoa, my mind was going round and round. But, in, but also I was at rest in, in the same moment. So it's easy just to be. This is just a glimpse of what it is to be I am, that I am, that you will ascend to when you become an ascended father. And I think for all of us, when don't be limited to just the thought of being a good son god wants us to become co-creators co in an ascended state of fatherhood which i think do i understand that no but i it's in my heart and i know that that is the reality for his intention for us son learn to become aware of multi-dimensional reality but always stay in rest living in love joy and peace within be balanced by the tree of life in the union between your spirit, soul and body. And I always anchor myself within that core of my being to spirit and soul and body being equally in union and oneness and in harmony. And I don't put a value of the spirit or the soul above the body. I equally value every part. And that tree of life brings a balance between soul and spirit. So we don't just get caught up in all the spiritual or we don't just get caught up in all the things in the world around us, but we are balanced and in harmony one with the other. So as, as you expand your spirit's boundaries, practice expanding your consciousness to become more aware of the dimensional realities that you are mandated to govern in. And, you know, I have done that. It's not something that I do all the time, but it's something that I am aware of and and i'm rejoicing and thankful and grateful for all of that all you learn to do as a son made in our image with creative abilities will equip you to become an ascended father in the ages to come son the true authority of a son is is realized through surrender not service so abandoning yourself totally to just being which is why i'm not focusing on all the doing i'm focusing on this is who i am this is who i am this is who you are this is who we are. We are called to embrace this level of expanded awareness and consciousness that limits us from what we've been earthbound in or even heavenly bound. God is unconditional love. That is why we can trust in his faithfulness, trustworthiness, dependability, reliability, cons consistency, constancy, steadfastness, diligence and perseverance. God is good. I mean, that this is the mention of this, the whole dynamic of of unconditional love. And I, you know, there's more I could probably go on to, but I, I feel that I want to move to something else. But unconditional love, stay in it, embrace it, experience it, go beyond. Rest is that state of being where we are totally trusting in the Father's love is goodness, kindness, faithfulness, loving kindness. The Father is 100% totally reliable and trustworthy, dependable. And to rest is to is that state where there is no fear, worry, doubt, unbelief. We just dwell, abide and rest within that place. Face to face, heart to heart, mind to mind. So all that I've experienced and discovered has deconstructed my mind, thinking, beliefs, totally transforming my worldview, unlocking my identity as a son, revealing my creative sonship abilities and I'm absolutely no different from you. You have the same abilities, capacity, same sonship, 
you are uniquely and wonderfully made and god wants you to experience and know that reality and truth for yourselves so you know i ask the question have you experienced unconditional love are you living in unconditional love are you demonstrating unconditional love by the way you live do you have this heavenly vision of unconditional love and the reality of who you really are do you know the vast sum of god's thoughts about you embrace them pursue them seek them and you will find them keep knocking keep seeking keep looking don't give up but be at rest and let him lead you so that you follow him by walking together with him so this gets outworked in love in that experience if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much